Today I send possibly the biggest ceramic rush of all time in battles to, and we're gonna see what my opponent does. Let's get it, guys. All right, so we are against FF34F on the map Ports here, and we're on the strategy Druid, Sub Farm, and Oban. Now Ports is always a really interesting map to do these games on because um it's obviously a really difficult map, and more rushes are sent. You have to defend and stuff, and farms are worse, so it's like it makes for interesting games. So I'm excited for this one. But yeah, we're going to start with my Druid right here, put on the last, get the Heart of Vengeance up. You already know the vibes. And then we'll be going for a round one Oban as well here. After, um, normally the way I like to eco here is I go to 280 with red balloons, and then I go for, um, some blue balloons from 280 to 285. He also balloon boosted at me round one, which is kind of interesting. Don't know about the balloon boost round one. I mean, maybe it forces a little bit more leaks on me. It seems odd, though. It seems odd. Put this Druid on first now. We're gonna balloon boost that. Okay, they actually didn't go for the round one open, so they'll be going for lightning here. They will be going for their lightning here, fair enough. I think I'll be able to defend this without leaking dead to death. We'll see. If I leak to death, then that's bad, but obviously. We're gonna go for a druid right here, real quick, just to pick up those leaks. I think I'm dead. No, I'm not. Nope, why did oh, I just. I just balloon. Wait, what did I do? We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Lightning? Yeah, we're good. Awesome. Awesome. A little bit of a rough start there for me. A little bit of a rough start there. They used two balloon boosts low. We have to realize that. And they're lower than me in lives as well. How'd that even happen? Okay, so even though we had a rough start, they actually had a rougher start somehow. They, If I balloon boosted at them earlier, they might actually be dead. I should have balloon boosted. I didn't even realize they were so freaking low. Okay, whatever. This is how ports normally is, guys. Ports makes for interesting games like this, so I'm excited. But uh, we'll get my farm down here. Nice. So we are up to balloon boosts, which means he can't really balloon boost lots of rushes to me at me later in the game, but I can balloon boost rushes at them. So it's going to be intriguing here how this plays out. They already intriguing. Let's send them some white balloons here. I don't know if this would do anything. They don't have any brambles down in the back yet, which is why I'm... Okay, we actually forced a Druid of Wrath there. Fair enough. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. And then... um. We'll just continue farming. So we should honestly be fine against white balloons. We have two brambles in the back here, and we, this druid should be able to do it as well. What I might do though is I'm gonna target my third bramble on the AI path because sometimes AI balloons can leak even though I have a lightning down. So um, I think if we have just one bramble on that path, that's gonna save me from leaks because obviously I'm so low on lives that I need to try to catch every leak that comes by. You know, I'm so unbelievably low that I need to be very very careful here. Very very careful. Increase production, beautiful. Go for greater production as well. Nice, nice, nice. And let's go for my brambles right there, perfect. And now we'll just start saving up for banana plantation here. We should out farm, but theoretically, because we do have um $650 less in defense than them. So, but they are stopping eco, like they send me balloons and then they stop. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he's trying to Maybe he's trying to like layer on me or something to force more leaks. I feel like it's not gonna really do much though. But now he's sending me yellows. Now I'll get it up. Actually, I kind of got it up against like zero yellows, but it's okay. Yeah, I definitely did not need it up there because we still have a decent bramble pile on the back. So I definitely did not need to get my Druid of Wrath up there, but it's okay. It's okay. Get my Banana Plantation up. Beautiful. Oh, wait, I'm sending them group pinks. I didn't, oh, I'm such an idiot. I just sent them a bunch of group pinks. I thought it was still spaced pinks. I didn't realize there was around nine yet. I just waste a lot of money on that, actually. Bad. I need to make sure I get my thing up here. They dead AI? They're dead AI! <laughs> That's how ports games go, bro! That's why I had a Brambles on the AI path. You already know. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys, our next game here is against Mr. Pressing, and this is going to be a really fun one because, I don't know, he's, he's like an icon, believe it or not. Like, this guy is famous for um, just playing really oddly. So, yeah, we're going to have fun one here. Looks like we're starting with a dart thing in a very odd spot. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's 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 funny. It's funny. People call him, like, an AI, like, the way he plays. It's it's odd. But, um, yeah, we're going to start with my druid right here, and after that, we'll get my um Oban round one. Well, actually, should I go for two druid start? I guess it's too late to go for two druid, two druid start. I am going uh, druid farms factory today, which is a very interesting strategy, which I haven't really used too much, but I'm excited for it. Also, I didn't get my open round one. We'll just get round two. It's fine. Fine. We'll just get round two open. No, nothing wrong with a round two open sauce here. Nothing wrong with it, you know? So next thing we want to do for sure is get a farm down. Hopefully we'll get our druid leaks in here soon. I, I think we'll get down to 70 here and my uh, druid should get the extra pierce. Yeah, now my druid has the extra pierce, so we're good. We're absolutely fine there. Awesome. 
Well, actually, I'm not really that fine. I'm leaking a lot of lives. Mr. Pressing is pressing into me with these rushes. Not sus. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but didn't really come out right. Um, let's just farm on. Let's farm on here. Get this increased production rolling. They actually went further. Laser shock. Very interesting. Laser shock tech coming from Mr. Pressing. Nice to see that. Don't really see that upgrade too often, so it's it's different, you know, it's different. Well, don't see it too often unless you get a, uh, what's it called? Hydro rocket pods, you know. Throw my brambles in the back. And then I'm going to go for this Druid of Wrath next. So we'll get that up here in a second. And then some white balloons here. They got their wizard down. Okay. The classic Mr. Pressing strategy. He goes like Dartling Wizard. And then I don't know what their last tower is here normally. But I know they normally go Dartling and Wizard, which is an interesting combination to begin with. So yeah. We'll go for my farm next. I think we go for two... So two um, greater production farms, and then we start saving up for my spike factory is probably the best way to play this out. So this increased production, and we'll go for greater production next. Beautiful. Wait, I missed it. I missed the chance. There we go. Got it. Awesome. And now we start saving up for my spike factory. Where do I want to place it, though? That is the question. Where do I want to place my spike bowls? Whatever is going to be a spike factory. Huh. I don't want to place it too far in the back, but I don't want to place it too far in the front as well. Probably, like, I'll yeah, place it right here. I'll place it right here. That's a decent spot, I think. Bigger stacks. Long reach, smart spikes, keep us on close. And then we'll get white hot, and then we'll get, um, what's it called? Spike balls as well. I should pro- uh, should I go for my lightning first? It, it is eating up a spike pile, but then if I go for lightning, they got my spike balls $850 later. I think I should go for spike balls first here. Probably the better way to do it. They got their wall of fire up. Well done. Well done to Mr. Pressing. My spike balls up. Should be able to get a pretty decent pile because it's round nine, so I already got I got some rounds to build up spikes before the rushes will be coming. I got some time. All right, and we'll see if they rush me. We will see. Should I go for another farm here? No, he actually goes for his HRP there. Fair enough. Fair enough. We will continue on with our uh, eco. We're honestly not in a bad spot financially. 800 eco and three um greater production farms that's not bad not bad i expect some rushes from mr pressing though if he does rush me with normal regrow balloons i am gonna go for a regrow d regrow druid so we'll see that's my plan there against a normal regrow rush uh no they aren't rushing they're just sending me black balloons okay fair enough fair enough we'll um, continue farming on continue farming on black balloons should be no issue with our current defensive setup here another marketplace beautiful let's get up another druid of wrath here uh, that's probably actually not going to really do anything. I just wanted this so then if he's going to be purple balloons, this will break down the purple layer pretty, help my other one break down the purple layer so then the lightning can do work, if that makes sense. But the nice thing here is that I can actually sell this spike factory on rounds coming up, and then I'll just be able to, the spike balls will stay around for a while, first off, and I can also upgrade the trees, which will help me out if he sends me like a big rush. So this, what, this costs 13,000, so I need 9,500 on hand with selling this. And then we'll be able to get up my um, farm. It'll be pretty good for me. He's sending in a lot of balloons that are eating up the spike pile a little bit, but we'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Spike pile should be pretty healthy there anyways. Another marketplace here. Beautiful. How much do trees cost? Four oh, I forgot. I didn't get round one open this game, so trees are actually a little bit more expensive. Normally, it's about $1,000 less here. So... That is a bit unfortunate, but it doesn't look like he's going to rush me anyways. And we should, we have enough stuff to take these camo balloons coming out, so we'll be fine. We're we'll spike factory in the back though, just in case anything goes crazy. Just in case anything goes absolutely crazy here. Looks like he has stopped rushing though, so I wonder if he's saving up for a big rush. Like, stop sending me balloons. We have to wait and see there. We'll have to wait and see from the Mr. Pressing himself. Target my trees in the very back. Nice. And I should be good to get my Monkey Wall Street next round. Okay, the spike pile is now gone. I repeat, the spike pile is now gone, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I should be able to get my um Monkey Wall Street here. Nice. And now I can build up a spikes in the back. Because I need to get I need to get some spikes roll in the back now. Just so then um if he sends me camel rushes, I have stuff in the back. He actually goes for a what the heck? He goes for a um Bottom path dart thing just randomly, dude. I'm telling you, this guy plays so odd that you don't really 
know what to expect. They play very, very oddly. I wonder if he's gonna rush. I'm not gonna rush them because I just wanna. I just wanna see what they do. It's like it's like a animal in a zoo exhibit. Okay, that's probably a bad way to put it. It's it's like watching a um. It's just artificial intelligence, basically. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is controlled by a computer. This character, this player. Just the way that it places towers, it doesn't really target. They don't really target their dartlings. They just upgrade randomly lots of time. And they only use two towers every time. They only use wizard and dartling. So it's like, all right. If they send me like a humongous ZMG rush or whatever, all I need is just a super storm. So that's honestly not like bad to defend. And lots of you guys don't know this, but super storm does have built-in camel detection. So if he did send me like camels afterwards, the super storm can clutch that up as well. So I mean, like it's, we'll get some Moab treasure spikes down on the map. Just because I feel like I'm in a really good position, so I'd rather play it a little bit safe with rushes, you know? If I have a lot of these down, then it's going to help out a lot against um, DDTs if they do send me them. But with Spike Factory, DDTs are really never a um, problem in the first place, so... I'm not really too concerned about defending DDTs. We'll see if they send them. Mr. Pressing, what's going on? Are you going to send DDTs? Or is he just going to chill and let me farm on? Looks like he's just going to let me farm on. Fair enough, Mr. Pressing. It's crazy, the spikes actually just break the Moab layer like right when it comes around, so then the druids can deal with the insides. And then lots of these spikes stay preserved that way a little bit better, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting combination. Is he going to send me, um, ooh, they could send me ceramics. If they do, I'm going to go for, Oh, ceramics would actually be an interesting rush. I, if he sends me like a ton, I might have to go for a super storm to be honest. They actually went for a carpet of spikes. Oh, Mr. Pressing has fifth tiers unlocked, ladies and gentlemen. He has the fifth tier towers unlocked. Oh my gosh, look at him go. All right, let's get some druids down just so we can get our um, super storm and stuff pop this buffed. We have five on there, but we don't have five on our where our avatar of wrath will be anyways. All right, let's get that on strong. We'll get all these on strong. And then we want our um, super storm on first, obviously. And we are vibing there. Let's continue farming on. I can sell my spike factories now because I'm getting ready to upgrade to a super storm anyways. So that'll have camel detection for us. So we're good there. We'll see if they send me a rush here. Mr. Pressing. He is sending me a fortified BAD. Okay, I see you. He's balloon boosting it as well. He knows the balloon boost technology. Okay, we'll get my super storm up. I think here, against this, all we do is my question is how many I'm curious, how many carpet of spikes do I need to use to pop a BAD? That's one. That's two. That's three, probably, wait, that actually might pop it. Because of all, I forgot all the spikes over here. The thing about carpet spikes as well is it has map wide range. So it's a lot better against like multiple BADs. It's not like the first strike in that sense. So I think this will actually pop it. Yeah, look at that, okay. We're actually totally fine there. Cool. Carpet spikes is so good. It's so good, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send them infinite regrows. Actually, regrows don't do anything. We'll send them infinite um fortified ceramics. Regrow balloons don't actually regrow after round 30, I heard. So, yeah. Dude, the carpet of spikes does nothing against these. Look at that. The regrow, the ceramics just go straight through everything. That's crazy. So many fortified ceramics. Wow. Well then, GG Mr. Pressing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit like button, subscribe once before. Do you think this guy is an AI? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. But without further ado, I'm like, oh, peace, lads. Thank you.